with Tri County Locksmith Service, and today I want to go over uh, different styles of locks. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things that you can choose from out there, and you know, these are things from you know, uh, filing cabinet drawer locks uh, to vending machine locks, things like that. Um, and basically, I want to give people an idea on what's what and how to identify them. This hair would be considered a disc tumbler lock. This is going to be very, very common for ton, uh, like truck toppers, um, filing cabinets, um, a, a lot of your smaller locks, little lock boxes. Uh, if you got little keys that look like this, this is probably what you're going to have it's one of these disc tumbler locks. And basically, the key goes in and it arranges these discs in the housing. Uh, like so and then it allows it to go ahead and rotate basically this would be what goes inside of there and you can tell instantly right away what it what it is because you can see these big square pieces inside the keyhole I don't know if, you can, if the camera's really going to pick it up but you'll be able to see that directly right inside there um, this is going to be the least expensive least secure uh, form of lock. Um, basically these wafers are super super easy to pick, super easy to feel. Uh, they're subject to impressioning. These locks are super easy to impression. Um, I never mind seeing these on, on uh, you know bike racks and uh, car racks and hitch covers and uh, filing cabinets. Anywhere I see these uh, I know it's going to be easy for me to go ahead and impression a key out for it or just pick it and, and get it off of the, the customer's car. Um, the next thing to look at is a pin tumbler lock. Basically, this is going to have pins in here just like a conventional, like any conventional lock on your door uh, or on, um, you know, things that you're going to see around the house. Uh, it's actually going to have pins in there and springs and this is going to be a lot more secure, a lot more long-term setup. Um, I don't know if we can see inside there and actually see, but you should be able to see a pin right inside there, inside that keyhole. Um, that's going to be just like this is this is this would be a cylinder that goes in a lever. So it's the exact same idea where it has the pins. The pins sit in the key drop spots here into the cuts, and that allows the lock to turn. Uh, very proven setup, very uh, reliable setup. Uh, this is going to be a whole lot better than this as far as security goes in the long run. Um, you know, there's a lot of little drawer locks like this little Olympic drawer lock. This may look similar to the wafer locks, but if you look inside, it is a pin tumbler lock. Um, they're just, they're these little keyways, they're more difficult to pick than the wafer and they're they're just more tolerable and they're rekeyable um, you would have to buy a special kit to be able to rekey these for each brand that you service whereas these you can buy a small pinning kit and actually rekey these just like any home or business lock um, so i always try and find uh, and use pin tumbler locks for the uh, for for my commercial customer base, uh, even if it's on a, a filing cabinet or whatever it may be. <coughs> um, the next step up from that is this is a vending machine lock, but you can get these tubular style locks in almost anything. Uh, you can get them for your bike locks, hitches, hitches, things like that. These things got a bad rap uh, because of the kryptonite bike locks that use them. Uh, basically people were picking them with pen tubes and um, it, it was a huge, huge failure. It was an epic failure for uh, that company because so many people figured out that it was so easy to pick them with a with a uh, pen tube that it was it was pretty ridiculous. Uh, and yeah, of course, you know everybody tried it and it worked for most people. Um, these locks are actually a whole lot more secure. This is the Ace Two uh, tubular lock and. Um, these are much more difficult. I almost rate these at, as a high security lock because they're very, very difficult. The ACE 2 series has, um, just as you would have spool pins in a, in a conventional pin tumbler lock, 
uh, it actually has those spool pins in here. So lock picks, even the specific lock picks that are made for these tubular locks are very, very difficult to, um, to use on this. And a lot of times they don't have a lot of success, uh, especially with the newer ones that have multiple, multiple spool and, and serrated pins that are actually inside there. Um, the other thing is, is they're stainless steel and they're a hardened steel. So drilling these out with conventional drill bits is pretty much impossible as well. Uh, the ACE2 tubular lock actually stepped up its game quite a bit and I would rate this just right under a high security lock if not right with it um, simply because of the the additions that they've done to it. Uh, the tubular picks have little success with these and um, drilling them out is is quite difficult if you don't have the correct tools. Uh, so that's the ACE tubular pick. I've got a cutaway here so you can actually see how that works. Um, basically your pins are in here and they align with a shear line that's actually lateral. Uh, so you insert the key in, and I'll try and get this to focus as much as I can, and you press down and then it actually releases those. So you can actually see right there what you're trying to do. So when you're trying to pick this, you're trying to get the shear line with all these in here. Um, it's pretty difficult to do with the newer ones. Like I said, this one right here is just a cutaway, so it does not have any security pins in it. Well, actually I lied. There are, there's actually serrated pins even in this one right here. Um, so this one is, is uh, they're picking up their game. Kryptonite, don't, don't believe all the stuff about Kryptonite. It happened uh, and the tubular lock has really made some improvements. Uh, since that particular time until now. They've, they've upped their standards quite a bit with hardened steels and security pins and making these quite difficult to pick. Um, and then finally, you've got another vending machine style lock, uh, but you can get these for filing cabinets and, and other things as well. Uh, this would be the Medeco. This is a Medeco one, two, three, four, five pin uh, Fire King. This, one, this would have come with a Fire King uh, filing cabinet. Uh, basically high security, it's going to take, uh, you can rekey these, uh, but you're basically engaging a sidebar so it doesn't have vertical pins for you to uh, try and pick. Um, I have seen some people pick Medicos. It's going to be a hit in this game. I've seen the smaller ones, the, the, you know, the three and four pin ones uh, get picked pretty easily but uh, not these as much. Uh, also, you'll notice up here in the top, you'll notice these pins. Uh, basically, those are hardened steel inserts, so anybody trying to drill this lock out is going to run into those, and any normal conventional drill bit is going to immediately be deflected off to one side or the other, uh, not letting you drill into the uh, soft spot or the, the pins or the heart of the lock. It's also got one on the bottom here, or the side as well. Uh, that's the lock's protection, that's Medeco's protection uh, against drilling this particular cylinder out. Um, so that's gonna be a high quality, high security cylinder that is going to be the best option to keep your stuff safe. A um, Couple other companies offer some high security stuff. There's Bi-Lock. Uh, Asa doesn't have a lot in that. I really like the Asa lock and their high security stuff but they just don't offer a lot of extra, you know, other um, lock options. Uh, Multi-lock does have quite a few things, and they're very difficult to pick uh, as well, and uh, do have some anti-drill uh, parts installed in those as well. So we went from the easy, cheap, super unsecure, you can basically pick these with a, a paper clip. Uh, they're, they're just extremely easy to, to bypass to the slightly more difficult uh, pin tumbler locks like here. Nope, nope that's not one. Where do you want to go? Here and here would be your pin tumbler locks to the even more difficult tubular locks. Even though they've got a, a little bit of a bad rap as being unsecure in the past, uh, I really think they have improved quite a bit to the high security Medeco or Fire King uh, cabinet locks. So this is Wayne with Tri-County Locksmith Service. For more information, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com. Thanks.